guys welcome back to my channel if you're a cherry subscriber and a big fat welcome if you're new around here my name is Ez and today I'm gonna do well start I suppose a little bit of a let's play apologies if you can hear my cat he's purring really really loudly curled up on my lap which is super super cute so I cannot move him um if you can i'll just put the sound of reds over top of him so it sounds like we're actually dealing with a fallout style apocalypse um moving on if you are a subscriber of my channel you know that a little while ago i released um a fallout challenge uh, basically that was just the rules and i kind of really really wanted to give the actual challenge a go so this let's play is me doing exactly that um and having a go figuring it out um making sure that the challenge is genuinely playable okay so for starting out you might remember the rules are um, to build a vault or a bunker or download one off of the gallery I've built mine um, there are a few changes that I'll need to make when we get in game but I'll do that when we get in game um, and I'm gonna start with a young adult sim now this here is my overseer she is the only one that is gonna be wearing the pit boy um, that's how I'm gonna run it in my vault the overseer is the one that gets this security device right here I will put the link to that in the description down below so you guys can go and get that fallout cc if you want as well um basically this is quinn riley she is my overseer she is the one that runs the vault she's in charge of everything that goes on now i have chosen the difficulty medium so i get to add one other dweller to my household and this is him diego coleman um he is my explorer basically he gets to go out into the outside world um, and run around looking for collectibles and other sims to bring to my vault um but yeah that is them these two uh, as you can see the jumpsuit says vault 75 so um that is the <laughs> vault number that i am going with throughout the whole challenge um and that is that she's got it as well but obviously her hair is far too long <laughs> okay so let's get into it shall we guys so i've decided to do my challenge in strangeville um and that's just purely because of the effect of the mother um, on this little town um, and that is that once her spores and everything starts you know happening um, the townies all walk around like they're possessed zombies so that's what we're going with um, I've made a few little changes to the town um, to start with um, and that's just to sort of fit it in I suppose to some sort of zombie apocalyptic nuclear radiated world um, and that is I've I've messed the bar up a bit I've used a whole bunch of trash from eco living just to sort of make the place look a bit crappier I did the same sort of stuff with this lot here trash everywhere as you can see um and then the library is my absolute favorite it looks absolutely ruined um and i <laughs> love it i think that this is perfect for my post-apocalyptic world so um that's the library and they are still functional lots as well um so that's all of them but this is the vault here this is where we're going to do our challenge and spend pretty much all of our time um i'll take you for a quick tour then shall i um so as you can see it's fully fenced off townies can't get in um because i've got that locked for household members only um, and I've discovered that these doors don't actually work as front doors. Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces from Eco Living. That's because I wanted this vault to kind of be a little bit self-sustaining. I kind of had thought about making it an off-the-grid lot, but then I didn't know how that would work in terms of Eco Living and still wanting it to be quite technical. This is our front entrance. This is where you come in. Um, and right next door is basically the overseer's office, I suppose. Like, um, is pretty much, I'm gonna call it like the control room where she can come and just monitor stuff happening in the outside world. If she's got explorers outside, then she can come here and keep an eye on them. Um, and then this room in here is basically the elevator right down to the lower levels, as you can see. There's like big air purification units, like everywhere so that there's no issues when it comes to that and again windows that show out to the outside world just because they look really really cool <laughs> um, and those are debug things from the get famous pack um right moving down there is like this back entrance here that's just basically stairs right the way down but if you wanted to use this which i personally love so you can take it right the way down and then get to the first floor this is basically the working level i think um so through here is the garden and science lab and uh uh, the med bay okay so uh we'll go through the garden first now we've basically got what clipping issues um an indoor garden and this is it um already i've been through and planted a few bits and pieces with my overseer um so she's done all of that and made sure that our garden is growing food because obviously we can't eat anything unless it's you know <laughs> grown in our own garden so that's what's happening there um and then we're going to go through to the science lab next now this is the lab um it's also sort of doubles as the power plant i suppose 
suppose, um, because there's a whole bunch of sciencey stuff, stuff for my dwellers to use to make things, as well as there's your power plant right down here. Um, there's also the engineer's workstation in here too when we finally get one, and that's his there as the robotics lab, as well as this is like the scientist career thing, but I, you know, I reckon that the engineer should be able to use that too. That should be fun. Um, and then of course the microscope so that the scientists can come and examine any weird plant samples that he or she finds in the outside world. So that is the science lab. Now we're gonna go to the med bay um, and this is basically the hospital wing of the whole vault. Um, none of this stuff is usable which is really such a bummer but you know it still looks cool um, and there's also a little decontamination pod right here so any new dollars that I get will go through that. I think there's one up top as well actually so if any of them get like really really sick then they can go through this and basically stay in this room as well. Um, so that's that wing. Um, if we go through this way um, this part of the vault is as you can see quite closed off and rusty and gross because it's accommodation. It's an accommodation block but nothing is working. It's all pretty torn up and broken because it hasn't been used in a very long time as you can see so um it's all pretty dingy and dark and disgusting and then through here is basically a common uh, study type room um there's a bathroom through here so that your dwellers they need to use the toilet while they're down here they can um but basically yeah library and stuff like that and then just through this room here is our broadcasting studio um this is where the radio broadcaster will come to broadcast your message and so survivors come closer we need you in our vault that's what that room there is for um and then we're gonna go down another level oh that door over there just goes to the emergency back upstairs as well as like a trash chute i think i put in well not a trash chute but somewhere for them to put their garbage yeah just through here eco living so they can come and recycle stuff <laughs> easy peasy and then back down through here uh through this side is the gym i believe um and this is where the explorer oh and our overseer both of them are hanging out um so yeah here's basically our home gym and just through this area here is like a meditation studio i kind of wanted it sort of close because it's it's a stressful place being in you know the wasteland and sort of only just surviving uh accommodation is through here here um, and down here we've set up the overseer's bedroom um, and this is all hers by herself she gets a desk and a computer because she is in charge um, and then basically I can't remember who I put where but I haven't set up Diego's room I don't think but basically there's definitely room too um, as you can see everybody gets like a double bunker berthy type deal and this is their bathroom and finally common area um, and this is where they can come and hang out and just sort of be together this is the kitchen although it's not really usable because we're not allowed a fridge so what I'm doing instead is I'm just going to put all of their food in that little box right there um, and that's going to be them set up in terms of food um, and yeah and they're just through here I think it's just like a kids hangout space um, somewhere for kids to kind of build on a few skills and stuff like that so um, when we start having babies will be away but yeah that is pretty much the vault guys um really really simple not much to it at all um but yeah now there are a few things that i wanted to achieve um in this particular episode so i'm gonna go ahead and start doing that um for starters i want the overseer because she is the overseer she gets to learn not necessarily do but learn a whole bunch of other skills so i want her to start practicing analysis um because we have no medic and i kind of consider that to be a really important role just to make sure that our dwellers are safe and healthy Whereas science and engineering, although they're the cooler ones, they're not really, they're not essential services. Can you tell I'm in lockdown? <laughs> Um, and Diego, I really want him to go above the surface and start looking for survivors as well as investigating what's happening with the outside world. But I'm a little bit not so sure because I know that once we go out there, there's going to be townies walking around like normal and it's just going to ruin the aesthetic. The whole vibe of this challenge. Please, see right there, he's just walking around like it's no big deal. I kind of just want them to hurry up and walk around like zombies. So maybe we'll go out to the hidden lab um, and figure out how to progress the Strangerville storyline on a bit. Rightio, it's been like two seconds for you guys, but 30 minutes for me because I've had to go out of game, install a couple of mods um, to help me progress the Strangerville storyline. Um, just so we've got more crazies walking around, if you know what I mean. <laughs> more zombie sims, so that's excellent. Um, it's now Diego's job to try and find sims that are somewhat normal. So while he goes off into the world and looks for normals, uh, Quinn is going to look into the food situation because my darling, you are 
stuffing. My goodness gracious me. Um, we might come in and water all of these plants just to sort of help them uh, hurry along, I suppose, because without a reliable source of food anytime soon, we are going to starve to death, which is not exactly ideal. Oh, she's exhausted too. I should really get her into bed. Um, maybe she can go for a quick sleep because my darling, you are exhausted and we can't have that. I don't know why Diego is so full of energy, actually. He's totally fine. <laughs> Um, but he's... No! What are you doing? <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. That's not part of the challenge. I don't even know where you found burger patties. Let's try and find some zombies to talk to. These guys are totally harmless. So Diego's trying to talk to zombies. He's getting thoroughly freaked out because this guy is mental. Open your eyes to the beauty of her blossoms. I don't think so. <laughs> yes, psycho. What about you? Should we try and talk to her? Haley? What up? I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I never fucking learned how to read. Yeah, there's no one actually wandering around that's sort of normal, so this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it might have been. Water, love, water is life, I think. Try to talk to her. Oh my god, she's crazy. Alright, this isn't working out. Uh, yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> I'm going to go back and check on Quinn. She's just sleeping, poor girl. Um, How are these plants doing though? Because I really, really need to harvest something to eat them. We can't have her dying on like day one. But I think they've got time before they actually die of starvation. So, becomes ravenous in 16 hours. Mushrooms, yes, there's mushrooms harvestable. We're okay. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Right, harvest everything that's actually available uh, once you've got a little bit of sleep. Diego, while well, he's, oh, it's daytime. You're quite happily just chilling on your phone. We need to find another normal townie, but I don't think we're going to. I think everybody's far too crazy. So I'm going to call that a failed mission, I think, but I would like him to come and uh, take a photo of these bizarre plants. They've been in the vault for years and years, and it's about time to figure out what is going on in the wasteland um so we want to take some photos of these plants and maybe i don't really want to do much else with them because i'm scared that he's going to get infected um what i should do as well i forgot to do is increase that likelihood of him getting a life tragedy tragedy occurrence speed to normal every single time he leaves the vault um and then when he gets back in the vault we'll bring it back down to normal even though he's got his hazmat suit on we should still increase that chance of you know bad shit happening so <laughs> yep we'll go check on Quinn she's got enough sleep now I think it's time to go and harvest some food and actually get her stomach full um, or at least a little bit more full um, and while we're in there we'll water those plants as well Cool, so she has actually managed to harvest a lot of fruit now um, and she's just gonna, I'm just gonna get her to eat a whole bunch of stuff um, and then we'll put everything else in the box down in the kitchen ready for whoever wants to eat something next. And then Diego can come along obviously and open this and be like, oh, I'm just gonna eat some of that. No, I'll just lay them out on the table here and you guys can come and eat them as you see fit. Oh, that's cool how there's a whole bunch of different sizes. Also, she's out of her room in her PJs. Come on, you are the overseer. Where are you going? Oh yeah, I forget that the stairs are so, so far away from them. Um, they have to use the emergency stairs. Where are you going now? Just use the toilet. You stupid She's carrying around a mushroom. Diego um, can probably come back downstairs and have a feed as well. So we'll bring him back in um, and put all of the stuff in the thing to be decontaminated. I'm not really sure what to do in terms of decontamination stuff. Um, this can just go here. For now and this can go here for now lovely cool so as soon as the door closes we'll get him to remove that hazmat suit um, and then take a quick shower because of course you've got to decontaminate yourself so in you go decontaminate lovely <laughs> and then i also need to reduce that um tragedy occurrence speed so as soon as he gets out of the shower we will reduce that back down to normal oh my god that's mental! Oh my god, I didn't know that I did that! He's just cleaned all of the crap off of himself and it's all just like 
Oh, gross. Man, that's that's crazy. That's awesome though, I love it. Um, right, so he needs to, I need to reduce his tragedy speed because he's back in the vault like normal. And she is still not wearing her proper clothes. Come on, Diego's coming downstairs. You need to get changed right now. Um, Diego needs to head downstairs, not to work out. You're gonna eat a mushroom times three, four, four mushrooms. Um, he's gonna come and have a feed um, and then I'm going to leave this here I hope you enjoyed watching my first go at a fallout let's play it was a bit of a, a muck around just because I hadn't set it up fully completely but um hey this is it um, and if you want to give this challenge a go as well don't forget to let me know if you do in the comments down below because I would love to check out how you do with it um and yeah hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world hope you're staying safe hope you're looking out for one another and i will talk to you in the next one okay bye oh what a pain in the ass that was okay no what if there was a place with all the zip of milk of cola wouldn't that be the choo choo cheeriest place in all the world where the river's made of quantum and the mountain tops are fizz with fun and games and rides for